we're kind of in the back area of the location uh, where the UFO uh, landed in the backyard. I'm gonna work my way around to the front. I don't want to disturb the people. Now it's Air Force Base. That's where all the crazy stuff goes on, guys. And the UFO crash was literally right down the street there. He was United States Air Force for about 20 years. You know, I could kind of say something about it now because obviously uh, I couldn't really speak about it then. But you know, he did say he's seen stuff in the sky that was flying beyond past what his um, uh, jet can do or any jet can do. And uh, that's... All right, guys, we're on the corner of Walnut and Tropical. Um, this is where they seen the uh, flash on the police uh, body cam. This is right down the street from uh, where the UFO supposedly went in the backyard. So uh, let's check out and see what we got. Let's check out the area first. And then uh, we'll see what we can do about getting uh, by the house. I know they got some police presence, stuff like that. But let's see what's going on. Aircraft or any aircraft in possession of the United States could have shot the Tic Tac down. I'd say no, just on the performance, it would just left in a, in a split second. It looks like that we have a problem here that needs further investigation. <laughs> yes. Uh, Not a lot of supercars out here in Vegas, guys. That's an NFT. <laughs> yes. Subscribe to Lucci. That's my boy, boys. That's the truth. Thank you. Lucci, we trust. Lucci, we trust. Day in the life. <laughs> How's it going? You ready? Day in the life, man. Say hi again. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, do me a huge favor. Reach over, smash that like and subscribe button. It's free to subscribe. It really helps me out. I go city to city, state to state. I take you guys everywhere. I go and investigate everything. And you know, I do a lot of car community stuff. In LA, I film a lot of stuff in Los Angeles, but I do travel everywhere. I did the mole people in Las Vegas. Las Vegas is actually like my second city. Um, I actually did that video with my boy Tommy G. The underground people of Las Vegas, all the people living in the tunnels, check out that video. But this video, guys, I take you on location to the spot where the UFOs crashed. Um, the other spot where they seen the light go down, which is kind of the same area, um, take you to that location as well. And then this guy, Angel, which is the kid that uh, called the police and said that the UFO landed. Um, you know, his story is pretty interesting, you know, and also... There is this Ellis Nellis Air Force Base that's like blocks away, like blocks. I mean, it's just right down the street from where the UFO landed. I found it to be a very interesting uh, subject um, due to obviously the guy that recently came out. And uh, that's pretty interesting. You guys should check that out. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on about that. And uh, basically, um, you know, there's people that come by and cover this kind of stuff up. So could be something like that going on. Um, there's one guy that has a podcast out there, um, his name is Papa, Don Papa or something like that. He, uh, investigated with this kid Angel as well. I'm gonna put some of that footage in here, but I'm gonna take you guys on this journey. Uh, like I said, it's like my second home. We have a family house out in Vegas. Um, so we do a lot of footage out there. Um, so stay tuned. I'm gonna take you guys on location. I'm gonna run you guys through this whole thing and you guys let me know what you think at the end. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Me in the beautiful city of Las Vegas. Gonna bring you guys some crazy footage. Got a special surprise. So hang steady. Let's get it. This is like my home away from home, guys. I did my Tommy G video out here uh, with the mole people underneath the ground of uh, Vegas underground. But uh, check that video out, guys. But well, definitely gotta get some Starbucks. You don't know what time it is, Starbucks is a must to get you guys a great content. No matter if you're in a grocery store, in Vegas, they got slot machines everywhere. You can gamble anytime you want. Crazy, huh? Teddy, I'm gonna take you guys everywhere, all around my second home, Vegas. Let's go. We got the helicopters out here, boy. 
one reporting aliens has this warning. There is a possibility of the injury if they get into it because this family also they are armed as well. So it's better not to do it because they cannot determine who is entering, who is a trespasser, who is a thief or who is a robber. There's like an eight foot person beside it and another one's inside and it has big eyes and looking at us and it's still there. The family making that call, saying there were two large figures in their yard. I don't, I don't believe in it, you know, but what I saw right now, I do believe in it. I got scared. Like I, I, You guys don't, I mean, you guys seem legit scared, so I don't blame you. They actually saw, quote, non-human beings. Since the story went viral, investigating for themselves. They don't have any aliens in the uh, storage or anywhere, so don't try to climb up the... Uh, walls or send a drone. Keyboard detectives, meantime, have gone over the videos frame by frame, including this clip from the backyard that night. Sources telling the ADUSAO investigators police do not believe this is a hoax, but aliens? And you believe them? Yeah, I believe them because they are sincere. They were scared uh, based on what they said if they have seen that situation that you saw the video, they were reaching for the gun and also trying to see something. I don't know what happened, but apparently they saw something that was out of ordinary. As we reported earlier this month, Metro set up cameras at that home after that family called about a possible trespasser. Please tell me today that there's no further calls for service at that address. All right, guys, we're on the corner of Walnut and Tropical. Um, this is where they seen the uh, flash on the police uh, body cam. This is right down the street from uh, where the UFO supposedly went in the backyard. So uh, let's check out and see what we got. Let's check out the area first, and then uh, we'll see what we can do about getting uh, by the house. I know they got some police presence, stuff like that, but let's see what's going on. Hang steady, guys. Not a lot of supercars out here in Vegas, guys. Like 100 degrees today, guys. Hot day. All right, guys. So uh, we're kind of in the back area of the location uh, where the UFO uh, landed in the backyard. I'm going to work my way around to the front. I don't want to disturb the people. Um, their home or anything like that, you know. So let's go let's see what we got. Let's go check out the area as well. Right near uh, Ellis Air Force Base. It's kind of convenient, huh? And uh, it's kind of rural area out here like a lot of uh, stuff and then it's just like a lot of nothing so hang steady a lot of taquerias and Mexican places out here it's a big Hispanic community out here guys I grew up in Hispanic community my mom's Mexican I'm Irish I grew up in San Jose on the east side so um, poquito espanol not much guys but yeah big Spanish community out here in Vegas guys like this is really the first time I've seen such a big uh, area with so much uh, Hispanic people. It's pretty cool. So hang steady. Um, I'm going to get you guys some more stuff. Hang on. Big Hispanic community, guys. Got the Mexican flag. See it drop down straight down. That's a crash. Look at that. Straight down, pretty much right near the area where the uh, neighborhood um, those people lived in. So, fairly accurate information as far as the um, area it dropped in. Whether they got someone in there and cleaned it. Oh, Yes. You see the bush? Yeah. Okay. And I'm 
So days later, this 16-year-old kid under the YouTube username Alien Society 51 video and says he was the one who saw the aliens in his backyard and made the 911 call. And I want to say something briefly. I know we're, we're short on time here, but when I was out at the residence on the 27th, and they were showing me where these things were, the where they believe they saw them, and I was standing against a metal pole that was holding up like a cardboard. And the father, and I'm just a little over six feet, about six feet, six feet one. And he said, that pole you're standing next to, it was taller than that pole. Now I'm about six one, I looked up, that pole was about eight and a half feet. And Angel said, yeah, it was even taller than that. Now, they, they described what they described. And I tell people, I was not there that night, neither were you. I have nothing to discount with the people saw this. Angel, his brother, I think is a year younger than him, and his father. Angel called 911. Man, guys, every gas station, I'm telling you, they got slot machines. Nice gas station, though. You have arrived. Now it's Air Force Base. That's where all the crazy stuff goes on, guys. UFO crash was literally right down the street there. There's some of the jets. So yeah, the house uh, is just not too far from here guys, literally, uh, right where I was just at. I gave you guys a little glimpse. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed it, but like I said, I don't want to invade their privacy. There is uh, some police in the area, government cars. So I couldn't get uh, right up on the house guys, but I gave you as much as I could. Um, but let me run you guys around here, show you guys a little bit more. And um, maybe later on I'll come back and see if I can get some more footage, um, closer location. Check it out guys, got the Ferrari out here, you never see too many supercars out here guys. Let's get back on the road. Guys check this out, the whole rim came off, the car is just laying on the ground. See it all in Vegas guys. Guys, this thing is massive. That is crazy. Let me change the settings a little bit, see if you guys could see it a little bit better. Look at that, guys. Is that wild or what? That looks like a real moon. That's the newest thing going on over here, guys. That's pretty wild, but we're way up here on the rooftop, man. Cai, 
Catalo, pega Chadi, palalo, catacodo, palá. Palalo, diles, diles que a casa de un brindis. Viene un show, viene un show, o sea, pega Chadi, cosa de lo. ¿Qué dijo? No, ya me dijo, le completico. Oye, dijo, le dijo. Cote, no, de que acá, dile que acá, callale, hay un muy pelón, sí, pelón, varón, pelón. Ya, yo. Y ya los teados dijeron, le dije. Concha, que la de que chupa. Por favor, segundo. There's like an eight foot person beside it, and another one inside, and it has big eyes and looking at us, and it's over there. Okay, where is this on your property? Uh, uh, in my backyard. I swear to God, this is not a joke. This is actually weird. So there's two. So there's two people or two subjects that are in your backyard. Correct, and they're very large. They're like okay. eight foot, nine feet, ten foot. I don't know. They're, they look like they look like aliens to us. Big eyes. They have big eyes. Okay. Like like I can't explain it. And big mouth. They're shiny eyes and and they're not human. They're hundred percent not human. <clears throat> Control one DP six two. I'll be out with the PR. Hey, what's up? Who called? How are you? Good. Tired. Yeah. Okay. Um, I called. I was on the other side. I was helping my dad to clean the... On, the, on that side of the house? On the, on the other side, yeah, in the backyard. So we're working on a truck. We work on a truck and um, we were checking... Okay. So we're working, we were, I was cleaning everything, put everything inside the little garage we had. Mm -hmm. Me and my brother, we just Did looked. Did you see it? Huh? Did you see it? Yeah, me and him side. What did you see? It was like a... It was like a big creature. A big creature? Yeah, like a long testing top. I'm not going to BS you guys. One of my partners said they saw something fall out of the sky, too, so that's yes. why I'm kind of curious. Did you yeah. see anything yeah. land yeah. in your backyard? Or? They see like a big, that's what they say. They see like a big, uh, like a big something with light. Can we go that side? Yeah, we can go that side. Yeah, we can go that side. Yeah, we can go Any dogs or anything? No, no, please, can you check? Because these kids is not going to let me sleep tonight. Oh, yeah, I bet. <laughs> I wouldn't be sleeping either. I know you guys probably think it's crazy something, but... Uh, Two people I, see I, stuff I, all the time, man. It can be real. You never know. By the way, I like the shirt, though. Thank you, thank you. I don't, I don't believe in it, you know. But so what I saw right now, I do believe in it. I no. got scared. Like, you, I, I, you guys don't... I mean, you guys seem legit scared, so I don't blame you. Well, it was an uh, SUV going around and around. The other wheel. Yeah, the I told my neighbor what we saw, he's like, no way. <laughs> Can I get the security card? I gotta say. Yeah, I know. Oh, no, no. He told me enough, okay, uh, police uh, up there. Before that or after that? She said, yeah, we, we, were, we were on a call by the Target right down there. Uh, up in the bonds, and she saw what she thought was a shooting star fly in the sky. She saw something. I don't believe in these things. I don't believe, but mom, I swear to God, so we're not putting God in here, you know. But I don't see. I know. I, I don't. I, I'm not. I, mean, I believe stuff. I don't know. But listening, listening to their stories, like I'm back there with like chills on my arms. Like it's creepy. You guys got the chills. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird, bro. Why am I the only one who's like okay? It's weird. Dude, just the fact that our partner saw something at the same exact time. The neighbors are still going around looking, so. Did you guys have, I'm sorry, no surveillance, no video? The camera is open on the post. That's when the camera is open. On the post, one of the posts. There's one back there. The landlord got a camera on the post here. Over here, I'll show you. No, yeah, the landlord has it, so they don't have access to it, but uh -huh. someone else has access to it. So yeah, like I said, we'll, we'll ATL the area, and we'll, we'll be around here for the night. So. I'm going to the hotel, man. Yeah, <laughs> I don't blame you. And one main thing I really wanted to add as well, guys, and rest in peace to my dad. He was United States Air Force for about 20 years, and he was um, stationed in Texas, uh, Japan, well, you name it, he'd been everywhere. And um, when he was down there, he had said, and he passed away, so... You know, I could kind of say something about it now because obviously, you know, I couldn't really speak about it then. But, you know, he did say he's seen stuff in the sky that was flying beyond past what his um, uh, jet can do or any jet can do. 
And uh, that's just something that uh, he had mentioned to us when we were kids, all the way through to we're adults. And it always stuck with me. And when I was out here checking out this thing, it kind of really just uh, came back to me and really just always is in my mind. And now it really makes a lot of sense. And if you guys watch, I'll put a little small clip, but if you guys watch about this guy that just did the whistle blowing, he's a very high ranking guy um, in the government, three guys actually, and they're all giving testimony and it's all pretty legitimate guys. So we definitely have something going on. If you guys think all these planets out here that we don't have nothing out here, I mean, you gotta think, man, we're not the only people out here, but what it is, I don't know. Leave your opinion, leave your comment, like and subscribe, tell me where I go next. I'm gonna leave a couple clues. Let's go. My favorite spot, guys. I ran into Mark Wahlberg in uh, Beverly Hills. And then I ran into him again. Let's get something to eat, guys. Hey, ladies. Etc. Do we need to call in to get these questions answered, whether it's about funding, what programs are happening, and what's out there? I can give you a specific cooperative and hostile witness list of specific individuals uh, that were in those. And, and how soon can we get that list? Happy to provide that to you after the hearing. Super, thank you. And I yield. Was armed? Do you believe that your aircraft or any aircraft in possession of the United States could have shot the Tic Tac down? I'd say no. Just on the performance, it would have just left in a in a split second. It looks like that we have a problem here that needs further investigation. <laughs> yes. Uh, in your belief, is this this flying Tic Tac? I mean, is this is it capable of being the product of any other nation on the Earth? No, I actually said, like I said earlier, I think it defies current material science and the ability to develop that much propulsion. And I know there's been some physicists have done calculations, which is beyond anything that we have. Well, either the United States has an adversary here in this world that we don't know, or we really have some serious investigations to do. I, I really appreciate you being here. Um, is there anything else about the November 14th, 2004 incident that you think is important for this committee to know that you haven't been asked here today? No, I, I, you know, it's, it's been said it's probably the most credible UFO sighting in history based on all the sensors that we're tracking it, and then for us to get visual and to go against the naysayers, it, it's something on the screen or whatever. I mean, there's four sets of human eyeballs. We're all very credible. Of the six of us that were involved in the thing, including the video, every one of us is going to do 20 plus years in the military in very responsible positions. So I'd say the world needs to know that. These UAPs are testing for vulnerabilities in our current systems. Yes. Yes. Possible. Do you feel, based off of your experience and the information that you've been privy to, that these UAP, UAPs uh, provide uh, an existential threat to the national security of the United States? Mr. Graves? Potentially. Yes, sir, potentially. Uh, same answer, potentially. Yeah, I'd say Graves. definitely, potentially. Mr. Graves and Fravor, you know, in the event that your encounters had become hostile, would you have, would, have, would you have had the capability to defend yourself, your crew, your aircraft? Absolutely not. Sir? No. Is based off of the information that you've been privy to, is there any indication that these UAPs are interested in our nuclear technology and capabilities? Yes. Uh, by external observation, sure, that could be a fair assessment, yeah. Yes. There's a Rio, that's where we went down underground by the, we did the mole people video with Tommy G. And you can see uh, Royalty Exotics is right here across from the strip. Said you guys, I'm gonna take you guys somewhere. All right, guys, we're on this side of town, so I figured I'd stop by, see what Royalty Exotics got going on. Okay, we got the Rolls Royce, sick Lambo. Do they scrub it off the internet? That's what's up. Oh my God, pulled over. Nice little spot. A week. Yeah, yeah. 
I was playing. You're going to put the Happy Dad tattoo right there, huh? Right next to the UFC, huh? Okay, okay. Portrait. Now, for Josh Mays! How do you respond to the rumors that you're a beast? Just kidding. I'm just kidding, dude. <laughs> Look familiar, guys? Count Customs. I did a few videos here already. Browse the channel. Uh, let's see if we can film in there again today. Sometimes they don't let you. But uh, let's see. Sometimes they got some cool cars out in front. Let's see what they got, guys. We got the circus circus in the background up there.